Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. The Olympus OM-1 has light seal material inside the camera on top of the prism. This material breaks down just as the light seals does and needs to be removed so that it doesn't stain the prism. The tools needed to complete this repair, crosspoint screwdriver, spanner wrench, cleaning tools, you can see our video that outlines these. To remove the top cover, you set your spanner wrench the appropriate distance for the pin face holes and carefully with even pressure turn counterclockwise keeping downward pressure so as not to mar the, the holes in the pin face and spin off the decorator plate. Lift up the advance lever work it sideways as it comes off. The pin face below this sometimes needs to have some alcohol seeped around the edges to loosen. Again turn counterclockwise with even pressure The rewind knob lifts to open the door and then place a screwdriver or a stiff wooden stick between the forks and turn the rewind knob counterclockwise. Two screws hold the left side of the top cover on. These are cross point screws and a cross point screwdriver must be used. If you substitute a Phillips screwdriver, you risk damaging the screws. The rewind shaft opens the door, so if it falls into the camera with the door closed, you won't be able to open the door. Tape can be put around the rewind shaft to prevent the shaft from falling into the camera body. The accessory shoe turns clockwise and lifts off, revealing a spanner that turns counterclockwise. The meter switch needs to be set and off before lifting the top cover from the camera. The galvameter has a tab on it that aligns with a notch in the bottom of the ASA dial underneath on the underside of the top cover. Setting the meter knob to off ensures that the meter switch will not be damaged when, re when replacing the top cover. There are two types of meter switches in Olympus cameras. The second one shown is easily damaged if it is not aligned properly. This is the off position of the meter switch. Set aside the door latch spring. Here's some of the foam. It's all broken down and sticky. Remove the two screws shown here. They are cross point screws also. A magnetized screwdriver aids in the removal of the screws. Lift up the socket bracket, taking care not to disconnect the wire soldered to the bottom of the socket. Begin removing the old sticky foam with a cotton swab dipped 
in isopropyl alcohol. This is what the prism looks like after it's clean. The silver on this prism has been damaged to some degree. Clean the inside of the top cover again with isopropyl alcohol to remove all remnants of the sticky foam. Clean the socket, taking care not to disconnect the solder connection of the wire. Tweezers can help pick away the sticky foam. It's very gooey and sticks to your fingers and if it gets on there you can use some alcohol to clean it off. Again a cotton swab is used to scrub off the gooey foam. Electrical tape is placed over the socket connection. The foam is not replaced into the camera. If the foam broke down once it will break down again. Don't forget the washer on the socket, the door latch spring, the shutter shaft needs to line up inside the shutter button, the galvometer notch needs to line up and the meter needs to be set to off. Here's a front view of the same procedure. Here the rewind shaft drop down into the rewind sleeve. A tweezers is placed in and levered against the thread so that the shaft can be lifted back up. Replace the screws that live underneath the rewind knob. Reassemble the rewind knob and thread back on loosely for now. Sometimes the washer catches the rewind lever and doesn't allow it to move freely. Adjust the washer so the rewind lever moves freely and tightened. Place the pin face back on. Get it started with your fingers before tightening it. Make sure it's not cross threaded. Once it's on snug with your fingers, finish it off with a spanner wrench. Place the washer advance lever the pin face. Remember it's decorative so it's fragile. So when you place the spanner wrench in there, be careful. Make sure you have even steady pressure. Snug it up. Clockwise will tighten it. The last step is the flash socket spanner. Use two fingers to get it started. If you would like to see specific classic camera repairs demonstrated, please comment or vote on our channel page. Thank you for watching.